Hello students, this is Dr. D.A. with this week's Philosophy Appetizer. I would like you to first of all meet someone very important to me. This is Dr. Bob Sauer. He's from the faculty at the MIT Department of Biology, and he was my thesis advisor for my PhD program. So during our first year of grad school at MIT, all students pretty much took classes for the first couple of semesters and maybe helped be a teaching assistant in one of the courses our second semester. But by the first summer in there, we were supposed to choose a lab where we could do some kind of uh, preliminary research. Uh, for most of us, that meant that was the lab where we would do our thesis research. And so Dr. Sauer had just joined the faculty. He was a very young uh, faculty member. And I felt good about that because I felt like that means he's going to be in the lab all the time doing work, you know, with his own hands. And so I'll be able to get a lot of uh, hands on help with my stuff because I felt very unprepared uh, being there. And uh, so <clears throat> the summer came. I learned techniques. I learned how to work with the different systems we we're studying. We we're studying structures of proteins uh, in viruses and uh after the uh, end of the semester, you know, uh, summer semester, I had my evaluation. So I went to Dr. Sauer's office and uh, he said, you know, Leander, you've, you've come a long way. I realize you felt very unprepared, but you've learned very quickly and worked very hard. And uh, so I, I was feeling like, yeah, man. And then he said, there's just one thing I want to comment on. Mm, gulp, that was my reaction. And he said, you spend too much time waiting for things to happen. You know, that phrase has stuck with me. Now, let me tell you what he meant. When you do research, sometimes you have several steps in an experiment that might take, for example, an hour or two to run. So you set up what's called a gel and you're running a prep of proteins just to separate them. And it takes maybe an hour, two hours to run that. And so what I would do is I would, you know, load my gel and then get it running and then go start reading or something like that. And then when the gel was done, I would develop it and then I would go to the next step. <clears throat> and what he said was, you know, the, a better way of doing this is if you plan out your day, you can get more things done. For example, if you know that particular part of your experiment is going to take like two hours, you know, during that time, you can start prepping for the next stage so that as soon as that first one is done, the other one is, you know, almost underway. You jump in. And so you basically overlap these things. Now, of course, nowadays in the computer age, computer age, we call that multitasking, right? Uh, that's what he was trying to teach me, multitasking. Plan things so that you can make better use of your time and make sure that you're always kind of like ready for the next step. But that phrase that he used to describe this was very, very uh, uh, deep <laughs> as an impact in my life spending too much time waiting for things to happen. And it occurs to me that there is a great philosophy appetizer in there for all of us. You know, many times we want to uh, achieve things. Uh, we'd like to be successful in something, but many times we basically just wait around for something to happen. And let me tell you, my friends, that's not the way the universe works, all right? You can't just sit around waiting for things to happen. You, hit, you have to make them happen or get ready so that when they happen, you are right there to catch that opportunity. So please don't sit around waiting for things to happen. If you are in a physical, you know, face-to-face -face lab when you're listening to this, what I want to encourage you to do is plan your uh, lab time ahead. Make sure that you know what you're doing. Don't waste time sitting around asking, oh, what's next? Or what, I'm so, what am I supposed to do uh, after this? Plan it all and you will make better use of your time. And of course, in life, remember, don't sit around waiting for things to, to happen. Go after them with all you've got. Thank you.